All right, well, we are back, and now we're going to deal with beam bending and distributed loads. So we're going to look at a distributed load here, W we'll call it 10 newtons per meter, and it's going to be distributed across essentially our beam. So when we have a distributed load, again, remember our original expression was EI, basically our Y of X, and that is going to be equal to minus, uh, basically Q, or actually not minus, excuse me, Q, which is effectively, um, that is going to be our, uh, basically the distributed load on our beam. So as previously, we'd have to apply that direct delta function. Now we could just simply plug in what is that distributed load um, across our beam. So we can just plug that value of 10 directly in, and we are good to go. So... What, what about our boundary conditions? They're exactly the same in this scenario. So now we're just looking at a distributed load. So we can go ahead and we can just change our parameter now. Instead of P, I'm going to do a W. I'm going to say equal to 10. And we're going to change our function here. So it's going to be minus W. That's our function. Same boundary conditions because basically it's a three-point bending test. We have our value here. We can solve this. And that will be our deflection. Let's move down. So let's see what our deflection looks like. Similar, but you can see when the load was distributed, actually, oh, I wish we could go backwards. Actually, you can kind of see the values here. Um, we're about at least one order of magnitude larger when we distribute the load rather than having it concentrated at that single point. So we can see the minimum value. And again, we can see our shear diagram, our moment diagram, and we'll see shifts in essentially in this behavior. So shear diagram, you can see now we don't have that discontinuity for, because of that point function. So now it's just continuous and you get kind of this moment diagram as well. Excellent. Excellent. So, and again, let's look at still positive, which makes sense, right? And it's the same analysis as before. So if I'm looking at the bottom, because again, oops, not there. Um, again, we should have a positive moment throughout. When I look at here, negative, we should be in tension. And my positive H over two should be in compression. And we see that is indeed the case. And you can see actually the difference in the, the magnitude of the force as well. Actually, stress, excuse me. But yeah, there we go. You're now beam bending experts. So we're going to touch on one last topic, a cool topic called buckling, and then we will see you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.